Let's talk about the furry comic Dairy Deal. Set in a Blade Runner-esque city in the future, the world has been reduced to rubble by war and strife and dwindling resources. Out of the ashes, with the intent to preserve humanity, is the survival function, that is, the police, and the consortium. The Consortium runs a hidden city that is shielded with futuristic technology, walking mech warrior robots, and policed with enough firepower to make any dictatorship wet their pants. Their authority is absolute. Among their many weapons and robots and guns is the Xeno Program. Xeno is the word for furry in this comic. There are two of them. Alpha also called Adris, and Beta, also called Ivory. The two of them are test tube babies. They have no family and are basically treated like intelligent lab rats. They have weapons training, special armor, special weapons, etc., etc. The consortium keeps them like super soldier cats to fight against the rebellion. The Rebellion is constantly trying to damage or otherwise uproot the Consortium as, much like Caesar, they refuse to give up power once the conflict was over and very much like having absolute authority over the human race. Unfortunately, Adris and Ivory have never known anything but the orders from the Consortium, so they happily kill any target that's placed in front of them. Now, they're not invincible, Adris especially. His genetic mutations and other gifts give him a regenerative ability, but it's actually quite slow. You can shoot him in the fucking face and he will go down, but if you just leave him there, he will heal and get up and walk away. Uh, eventually. This comic is not shy about kicking Adris around constantly. In fact, that's actually what I wanted to stop and focus on and warn you guys about, because my main takeaway from this comic is a lot of blood and physical abuse towards Adris. Like, a lot, a lot. Yes, the future is grim. Yes, the Consortium is doing a great job as a faceless corporate entity that has far too much power. But holy crap, this comic is dark. The constant mistreatment, the beatings, the unfair testing conditions, the surgeries, the drugs, the constant near deaths. This is a lot to take in all at once. Maybe it doesn't seem as bad reading it on a one-page-per-week basis, as its rather impressive update schedule keeps up with rather nicely, but reading it from the beginning to the present is like constantly being punched in the stomach and not being allowed to breathe. There are people in the consortium labs that think the Xenos are a waste of time and money, that they're results aren't good enough, that their current mentality isn't obedient enough, etc., etc. Aside from the singular scientist that works alongside them a good portion of the time, Adris and Ivory are just as much at the mercy of the Consortium as the Rebellion is. And, no joke, Adris begins to exhibit a lot of strong symptoms of long-time abuse victims. He starts to show unconditional love for his abusers, gets violently angry at anyone that tries to help him, shuts down emotionally, tries to be completely obedient so his captors will change and love him and treat him better. It's really sad. Like, the author has clearly done their psychology research for this because, holy crap, this is, this is disturbing stuff. Ivory, who is much spunkier and more of the rule breaker, spends a lot of time trying to pull him out of his funk, but to no avail. Adris is too far gone. Misbehaving can literally land either one of them in brain surgery for personality editing or memory erasure. I did not have fun reading this comic. Don't get me wrong. 
The artwork is gorgeous, the characters are believable, the setting is fantastic and well-defined, but my god, I'm getting a stomachache at how sad and violent this story is. I haven't felt this way since I read Jack, and that was over a decade ago. The only difference here is that there is no hope in Derry Deal. There are no good guys, there is nothing to hope for. Adris and Ivory are weapons for the Consortium to hold on to power, and they are endlessly suffering, both physically and mentally, for their corporate masters. The blood, the abuse, the constant violence in and out of the field of battle, it's really sickening. On their website, the comic actually has a codex that reveals a bit more about the world, the characters, the factions involved, and so on. I am not going to read that because I shouldn't have to read a dictionary worth of information to understand a comic's world, but I skimmed through because I honestly can't even tell you what a dairy deal is. I couldn't find it, even with my browser's word search. The comic itself comes from Chile. I thought maybe it was a Spanish word, but it's not. Is it someone's name? Is it the name of the consortium city? Is it a philosophy, an event that happened? I have no idea. The word is never spoken by anyone in the comic, and I've never seen it in the background or written anywhere, so... If anybody knows what the comic's title means, please let me know. I'm stumped. Dairy Deal sits in a very uncomfortable position for me when it comes to recommending it or not. Usually, you know, I, st I say my catchphrase, you know, should you read Dairy Deal? And I say yes or no, but this time it's a little more complicated. It's a gorgeous comic with great characters, a carefully constructed setting, fantastic writing, great action, phenomenal visuals, and so on, but I fucking hate it. It's so dark. It's so abusive. It's just, it's just not fun to be around. There's no goal or hope or light at the end of the tunnel. It's just two cat furries getting the shit kicked out of them constantly as they try over and over to please their corporate masters. There's nothing to look forward to in this comic. The only thing I hoped for was for Adris and Ivory to get lucky enough to die and stay dead so that they wouldn't have to suffer anymore, and that is a horrible thing for me to have to say. Listen, if you consider yourself empathetic, especially towards animals and animal-like characters, this comic is a nightmare scenario, and there is no fixing it. The comic has no stated goal, no forecasted future, it makes no promises to the reader to fulfill at a later time, and frankly, it just puts me in a bad mood to read it. There is no hope. There is no justice. There is only blood and suffering and abuse and death. And the death isn't even permanent most of the time, which makes it even worse. <sighs> In conclusion, the comic has all the artwork, all the characters, all the good writing to be called a fantastic work of fiction. And it is, but I hate it. I hate it so much. If it sounds interesting to you, by all means, check it out. Just be ready. Guard your empathy and guard your heart. This is not a pleasant experience and it is not a pleasant story to devote your reading time to. I really mean it. If you have to read it, just, just be ready because, my God... <laughs> See you later.